Mike Tyson and Michael Spinks meet as unbeaten champions in a bid to unify the heavyweight division. Atlantic City, 27th of June, 1988. Now watch Tyson jump right into his chest. Michael Spinks, give him a little movement. Keep those hands high. Very, very high. Stepping in. All right, stop punching. Ho, ho. Hey, Mike, knock it off, man. Knock it off. Cappuccino already warning Mike about the elbows. Various opponents have complained that Tyson rocks them with elbows along the ropes in close. You see the tactics uh, used by Michael Spinks now. He's throwing his jab. But he has to keep those hands extremely high. Watch for the uppercuts, too. Tyson landed a left hand in close quarters. And now Cappuccino goes to work again. Tyson not afraid, as we expected. And Spinks ready to mix it up with him. Tyson along the ropes doing damage. Michael Spinks has to keep moving because every shot. Oh, uppercut landed inside, and Spinks went down. It was the left uppercut. I was surprised there was a body shot that put him to the canvas. And that is the first time Michael Spinks has ever been down in a professional fight. And he's down again and in serious trouble. A right hand right on the chin. Six, seven, eight. He's not going to make it. It's all over. Butch Lewis wasn't anxious for Michael Spinks to fight Mike Tyson in the unification series. What happened in that round was that Mike Spinks got hit and his natural instinct as a champion and as a winner was to try to fight back instead of covering up. And because he wanted to fight back, he got knocked out. There's a great deal of pandemonium in the ring now. It lasted a minute and a half. There's a near riot taking place on the apron in front of us. Only now is it beginning to calm down. The first time Michael Spinks has ever been knocked down throughout his career. We see uh, Mike Tyson congratulate Michael Spinks and uh, Tyson trying to show some concern. Please clear the ring. Clear the ring. Security, please clear the ring. The pre-fight delay outlasted the fight by about 15 minutes. I, ex I didn't expect Michael Spinks to go down from a body shot, but apparently the extra weight was a factor. I'd be interested to hear what Michael Spinks has to say. Michael Spinks started out pretty slow, and here we see Tyson, as usual, going to the body. A great uppercut that sent Mike Michael Spinks to the canvas. That was the second knockdown and the finishing blow. Watch again. This is after Spinks got up after one knockout, tried to fight back, and had nothing as Mike Tyson landed the right, the short right, to the jaw. Here we have another angle. And that beautiful right uppercut caught him perfectly. It seemed to have caught him on the top of the forehead. And when his head went back and hit the canvas, it was all over. 